everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I wanted to mention that I won't be doing either of my live videos this week because of the Thanksgiving holidays here in the U.S. But I'll be back in the swing of things next week, so I'll look forward to seeing you then. We don't have any news on Reichbusters Project Real, Super Fantasy Brawl, Enchanters, Hell the Last Saga, or Six Siege the board game, but let's get to everything else. For Joan of Arc this week, we wanted to give an update on fulfillment of the 1.5 Kickstarter. UK backers have received address verifications, but there was an error in our transcription of the factory order list to Spiral Galaxy's template. This issue has since been fixed, and now address verifications have gone out, and shipments will begin Wednesday and Thursday this week. U.S. backers should have already received their address verifications, and the process to make changes will remain open until November 30th to allow their staff ample time to handle the changes and to allow for the Thanksgiving holiday coming up this week. Now, I want to take a moment in here and, and simply provide clarification for our Canadian backers. For the most part, we generally include updates for your shipments while we speak to North American orders. There is a slight difference, though, because often Canadian pledges are, are pulled as quickly as possible and sent to the D6 hub in Canada. So it will generally take a bit more time for Canadian address verifications to go out as they must go through customs as they cross the border. The shipments, of course, not the emails. But exactly how much longer can't always be accurately quantified. But we will continue to try and provide as accurate information as we can for you. For our Australian and New Zealand backers, you'll be getting address verifications as soon as the container is unloaded at the hub, which we expect to be by the end of this week. This is only an estimate, however, so please bear with us, and when we have a more accurate time frame for you, we will be letting you know. Just a quick update today for Solomon Kane Wave 2. The expected departure date of Wave 2 stock bound for the EU is today, November 23rd, with an ETA of December 23rd. And I'd imagine that our UK backers are in the same category, but I'll confirm that and get back to you in the comments. Stock for our North American, Australian, and New Zealand backers are being loaded into containers now. When they're loaded on the boat, we'll update you with estimated times of both departure and arrival. So thank you for your support. For Steam Watchers today, I want to take a moment and provide some clarification for our Canadian backers here as well. When we mentioned that Fuelex D6 had told us that all the stock had been processed and sent out, they were speaking from their point of view to include anything that had been processed for shipment, whether it had been picked up for the, by the courier or not, or was simply in transit to another hub. Canadian pledges were pulled as quickly as possible at the U.S. Fuelix hub and sent to the D6 Canadian hub. So while it had been sent out, those address verifications or shipment notifications hadn't gone out yet and won't until it's processed by the D6 hub in Canada. It will generally take a bit more time for those emails to be seen by Canadian backers as the product must go through customs again as they cross the border into Canada. But exactly how much longer it could take can't always be accurately timed. So we're very sorry for the miscommunication, but we will continue to try and provide as accurate information as we can for you in the future. Now, for our U.S. eShop orders, U.S. fulfillment is complete for Kickstarter backers. eShop orders will go out after the Thanksgiving holiday as the stock is being moved from San Diego to Tennessee. All the core games are already in Tennessee, but all the expansions were in San Diego. So we're trying to minimize shipping costs by getting the product in one location to be sent out to you. Rest assured that we've not overlooked your orders and that we aren't neglecting to send your orders. We simply must do what makes the most logistical sense. For Darkest Dungeon today, we will announce tomorrow that we are adding Simplified Chinese to the Darkest Dungeon project on GameFound. 
Any backers who placed their orders with us before November 17th and would like to switch their language to Chinese can do so. If you're a new backer or placed your order with us after November 17th, it will be manually changed to English. And if you want your order to be in Chinese, you'll simply have to wait for our new localization partner, Banana Games, to make pre-orders available for you. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net, and they'll be happy to make sure everything is squared away for you. Additionally, many of you have watched and expressed your enjoyment of the two playthrough videos that we've posted of Darkest Dungeon. First of all, JT and I would like to thank you for watching, and if you missed them, they can both be found on our YouTube channel, and the links will be in the description below. The Level 2 Dungeon playthrough videos will be going up this weekend on Friday and Saturday, so be on the lookout for them. For Monster Apocalypse today, we just wanted to give a hearty thank you to every single one of you that chose to support the Kickstarter and make it a success. 6,370 backers combined for an amazing total of $1,310,177, and we could not be more appreciative. We're already about the business of getting the pledge manager ready to go, and we will let everyone know when it's set to launch. Generally, this process takes about a month for us, but because of how close to the Christmas holidays a month would put us, I'd imagine we're looking at sometime in January launch for the Monpoc Pledge Manager, but don't quote me on that. Just rest assured that we'll announce when we plan to make it public, and we'll go from there. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English, and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to unveil. Uh, as mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal next week for my videos, so be on the lookout for those on Thursday and Friday next week. That's it for today, though. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>